Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology. And in today's video, we are going to be doing our weekly predictions for our Scorpio sun, moon, and rising signs. And we're going to be doing the days between March 16th through March 26th. So let's go ahead and get right into this reading. All right. What's going on with our Scorpios? Sun, moon, and rising signs for the week of March 16th to March 26th. What can they expect? What should they look out for? What energy is surrounding them? All right, you guys, quick disclaimer. For a lot of you guys, this energy may be happening in chronological order. And for other of you guys, this energy may be happening sporadically throughout the week. So just take what resonates with you guys. You guys have the high priestess to come out first. So for some of you guys, I feel like you had a deep question already. Like, should I do this? Should I do that? And Spirit is saying, follow your intuition. We are not steering you wrong. Temperance card is here for balance, for clarification, also for healing and your creativity. All right. Let's get three more cards for our Scorpios. Mm, the Page of Swords. So a lot of you guys are feeling clever about something as well. There may have been a decision that you made recently. And that's what you were, you know, pertaining to. Mm, I did see the Hermit card earlier. Back of deck energy is the King of Pentacles. Um, you guys may have some debts that you may need to pay off. Some things that you need to take care of financially. Um, some financial documents you need to take care of. You also have the Hermit card here. You have three major arcana cards during this time well four and then you have the will of fortune in reverse and our libras i used a separate tarot deck our libras had the will of fortune in reverse as well so there's definitely going to be some type of unexpected change that's going to be going on during this time for you all um, and it may be pertaining to your finances or your resources. Um, for some of you guys, there's this Eight of Pentacles that's in reverse as well. And it may have something to do with a job change because some of you guys may be feeling overworked at your job, exhausted at your job, or feeling unappreciated at your job. All right. So with this High Priestess energy, let's get into it. Ooh, I apologize. Okay. So there's something that you have been worried about or something that you've been contemplating about for some time. It may have been over a year for some of you guys, Scorpio. You know, sometimes we'll be thinking about some things and we'll just keep thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And it's still sitting in the back of our mind because we haven't settled or we haven't made a firm decision on what it is that we should do or a decision that we should make, right? But this high priestess energy is telling us that we need to follow our intuition, not hide from ourselves, not be secretive with ourselves and be honest with ourselves, with the decisions that we want to make, with the things that we are wanting to do during this time. And I'm speaking as if I'm a Scorpio, but I'm not a Scorpio. So um, we do have the temperance card here, which is about balance, you know, bringing equality and bringing balance into your life. And with this card, meaning, you know, artsy and healing and growth, you know, and balance, 
I feel like during this time, you guys, just like our Libras, they're going to be doing some soul searching with the Eight of Cups energy that they had. With this Temperance card, I feel like you guys are really going to be trying to ground yourself and actually cry a little bit more than what you usually do. Actually releasing that anxiety from you that you guys may have during this time. Just preparing yourself for airy season, getting yourself recharged for this energy energy balancing yourself a lot of you guys are probably trying to balance your chakras meditate more you're you're going through like this energy of feeling like you are overwhelmed but things are really going great for you you have the page of swords energy here like i was saying earlier this is that clever energy this is the start of something new a new project a new endeavor a lot of you guys may be dabbling into something different that may be skeptical for you so pay attention to that during this time right you guys also have the hermit card here now with the Hermit card, a lot of you guys are not wanting to be social with other people. You're really wanting to be to yourself during this time. Not wanting to communicate with people because you're really focused on your growth. Or you're really trying to focus on what it is that you should be doing better for yourself. And not really focused on everybody else. You know, and that's fine. You know, this will be a great time for you guys to like recharge and regather on decisions that you may have made in the past decisions that are, you are wanting to make now and a lot of you guys are wanting to make amends with other people and you're just not knowing how to go about making those amends and i feel like for some of you guys the amends the forgiveness the love the happiness is going to happen during this time and it's going to be so unexpected it's going to be something that you didn't expect to happen and it's going to cause so much growth so much healing it's really going to be the start of something new okay so we're going to get into the numerology card so we can see what you guys should mainly be focusing on during this week scorpios what should my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign should mainly be focusing on during this time? We do have number 11 individuality, which I do like that for you all because you're going to be in hermit mode. So why not focus on your individual self? Why not focus on self? Focus on growing. Focus on being better for you so that you can be better for others. All right. All right, we have change. Number five, change. So like I said, with the Wheel of Fortune being in reverse, there may be some unexpected changes that's going on during this week in your environment, number 44. The people that you may surround yourself with right now may change um, over the course of these few days. All right, we're going to get into the Black Moon Astrology card so we can see what you guys should mainly um be focusing on you guys have the solar eclipse energy which is about revolution okay so let's go ahead and get into that I'm not sure if i showed that to you all all right so number 44 solar eclipse revolution all right Revolution is actually something that starts in individual hearts. This card spells out change. Eclipses, both solar and lunar, are the earliest forecasting tools used in astrology. Through these dramatic sky events, the ancients understood major transformations were about to happen. And since these eclipses looked so dramatic, ancient people greatly feared them. Since during an eclipse, the sun and moon give the impression they disappear and the ancients associated eclipse with serpents they believed were devouring the lights in the sky. From this, the ancients formed the idea of death and rebirth, which is what eclipses are all about. In other words, when it comes to eclipses, something has to die for better things to be born. In the case of the solar eclipse, the effects are longer lasting. The solar eclipse occurs during the new moon, 
when the sun and moon are in opposition but perfectly aligned. For a brief time, the moon obscures the sun, blocking it from view. In essence, this is a blackout and means we must focus on what is directly in front of us. Usually a change or a shock is in store, which may not be welcome, but is necessary to move us forward. So there may be something unexpected that may happen during this time with this Wheel of Fortune being in reverse. We have when the solar eclipse card turns up in a reading, you can expect swift changes that end one chapter and start a new one. You may have felt something would eventually happen, not having recently paid much attention to the situation. Then you're presented with a shock or a jolt and you're reeling over the sudden change. This upheaval takes away what has been familiar and safe so you can embark on new territories or even venture to a strange new terrain. But it will be daunting. These events may seem like negatives at first. A divorce, the end to a relationship, being forced to move, or even losing your job. Eclipses tend to affect relationships foremost. However, and so you may soon see stressors and upsetting changes in relational supports you have counted on. For whatever reason, these may be taken away, either for the time being, but perhaps permanently. So the one thing you can count on is that your life will go through a complete rearrangement of sorts. The energies are saying that it is necessary to be cruel before being kind. But eclipses are not always about the downside. Instead, you may find yourself having to dive in, change something, fix something, or create something you hadn't really thought of, but will work out brilliantly. That ends up transforming your life all the ways you've hoped for, maybe beyond your wildest imaginings. All in all, when the solar eclipse card turns up, it implies you are being forced to make a decision to act on it. There will be no stepping away from it. Even though you may not have been consciously aware of just how much certain issues were not working, it's time to look ahead and finally resolve what has held you back. Now it is time to begin anew and start that new chapter in the book of life. Okay? It's time for that change. It's it's time for a change in your environment. It's time to plan. It's time to make the conscious effort to do more and to do better for you, yourself, and what you want in life. All right? So we're going to get into the Moonology card so we can see what energies are surrounding our Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of March 16th through March 26th. You guys do have You Are Good Enough with the full moon and Virgo energy coming through. You guys have surrendered to the divine and we were talking about that with the solar eclipse energy uh, with revolution there's going to be an unexpected change that you have no choice but to change like is it's inevitable it's a part of the growth and then you guys have have faith in your dreams the waxing crescent moon so for those of you guys who have not been believing in yourself who have not been meditating or wanting to manifest or trying to manifest you know things better into your life it's time for you to believe in yourself believe that your words do have power believing that you can do what it is that you said you were going to do that is going to make a positive impact in your life right we're going to get into the star seat oracle card so we can see what messages you guys have from spirit and the first card to come out is earth so with this earth energy it's allowing you to learn how to be human in the world but not of it okay just because everyone else is doing it doesn't mean you have to do it just because um 
just because your sister's doing it doesn't mean you have to do it. Just because your brother's doing it doesn't mean you have to do it. It's okay to be different. It's okay to stand out. It's okay to be quote unquote weird or not normal to other people or crazy to other people. As long as you're being your authentic self. You guys also have lost lands, your soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. So it's time for you to tap into your gifts. It's time for you guys to have faith in your dreams like we were talking about we have forged don't follow pave a new path be the leader you wish you had a lot of you guys need to understand you are a leader you don't always have to be a follower we all learn and create and learn new things from one another but it's time for you guys to step into your leadership role in your life you guys have cracked open, which is rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. So it's time for you guys to surrender to the divine like it was said here with this full moon energy. And now it's time to surrender to the alchemy of life. What are you destined to do? It's time to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, Scorpios. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next one.